Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of my Terraria Let's Play. Guys, thank you so much once again for all of the beautiful support that you guys have been showing lately. Not only just for the recent episodes, but also for my return to the channel here. I really, truly do appreciate it guys, so thank you so much. If we could keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, that, my friendos, would be absolutely fantastic. Well, I was going to start off today's episode by making a secondary house around here so I can move the forest pile on over here. Which would then make getting between the base over there with the big tree to getting here, it would make that a lot more easy, basically. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for a thousand likes plus in the last episode. I very much do appreciate that. And yeah, like I say, if we can keep it up, that'd be brilliant. Alrighty, let's get ourselves a tiki torch in here. We need ourselves some background walls, you know, all nice and simple stuff. And then we've got ourselves the ability to place down the forest pylon over here. And like I said, it would make getting between our tree base and this area, the spawn area, uh, way, way easier. So yeah, pretty excited for that actually. Uh, Alright, so we've got the dirt walls here. We'll put these things just in the background. And fantastic. That should do the job real, real nice like. And we are going to put the guide in there. Yeah, because why not? And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at the world spawn. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy placed in. And there we are. We can now go ahead and simply teleport back over to our base there. And then, yeah, everything is looking pretty cool. Yeah! Easy teleporting between many locations. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely fantastic. I could not be happier. Uh, all right. So, what else are we going to do in today's episode? Well, I think a rematch against the Eater of Worlds is definitely in order. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and get that prepared momentarily. Uh, the question is, do we want to do it underground again? Or at least attempt to? Or do we want to try and do it on the ground? You know, not underground, but over the ground. I feel like maybe doing it on the surface might actually be a pretty good idea. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give that a go at the very least. For now, though, ah, uh, these guys, they all need to go away. Ah, darn it, the paint has just been taken out of the game. That may mean that I can't teleport to the jungle anymore. At least for a little bit, anyway. Ah, well. All right, so at the moment, I'm just trying to farm a bunch of these guys out real quick because, well, they're in the way, and I need to go ahead and get myself a bit of a platform thing going on here and then yeah once we've got that going we can rematch the eater of worlds and i'm hoping that we'll be successful with it this time oh my god the blood moon is finally over ladies and gentlemen but uh, we just gotta deal with the uh, oh my god we just gotta deal with these little uh, dudes here oh come on get out of here there we are might as well get rid of you too buddy no survivors ah crap well, that certainly isn't going to help, is it? Hey, the painter is back. How you doing, Luigi? What a fantastic name. <laughs> I mean, I've got my Mario suit on and there's Luigi. He doesn't appear to have a green costume on, though. So, you know, there's definitely a missed opportunity there, Terraria devs, you nincompoops. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Even something as simple as this, I think, might do the job. All right, well, the fact of the matter is we've got ourselves rather a lot of materials to make ourselves the worm food summoning item. So how about we go ahead and get ourselves down, down, down to the bottom of the sea here. And we are going to make ourselves some worm food. Yeah, baby. Well, it only needs 15. Wow, five of them? Jesus Christ. We have got a lot of attempts at this, ladies and gentlemen. We may not even necessarily have to defeat the Eater of Worlds in order to get the full shadow armor. I mean, we just need a supply of the beautiful shadow scales and demonite, of course. So, yeah. Huh. Okay, well, I mean, that's kind of cool. One thing I will do real quick, though, is I will go ahead and break two more orbs in the hopes that I might get myself a Vile Thorn. Because the Vile Thorn, let's be honest, it is an absolute freaking killer of a weapon. Another musket? How many bloody muskets have we got now? Well, I'll tell you how many we've got. Way too bleeding many. All right, so we've got another orb down here. Might as well go ahead and, you know, do a little bit of explodey, explodey action. There we are. Come on, baby. Uh, maybe three more. There we are. And I'm hoping that we get a vile thorn. Come on, baby. Give me... Oh, oh okay. Ball hurt. 
You know what? It isn't very often I even try to use the ball over. Apparently, they completely overhauled flail weapons for 1.4. And to be honest, I haven't really given them a really good shot yet. So, I don't know. They could be criminally underrated, rather similar to the bone javelin. So, I think it would be in our best interests. So maybe give it at least a little bit of a go. Oh yeah, probably a good idea if we pick up these uh, these heart lanterns as well, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we're just about that. Ancient shadow greaves? When the hell did I pick those up? Wow. Okay, so we've actually now technically got two bits of shadow armor. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if we are incredibly lucky, we could always get ourselves the uh, the chest plate, the ancient shadow chest plate. How incredible would that be? I don't think I've ever tried to grind out for like a full set of uh, ancient armor. It'd be kind of cool though, wouldn't it? You know, just for the just for old time's sake. Ha! Oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right, let's get some torches placed down. And I honestly think that we are just about ready. So, I tell you what, let us do this thing. Hello there, sirs. Go on, out of here. All right, come on, up you come. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah, that's right. Get freaking wrecked. Uh, we should probably do a little bit of this. You know, a little bit more, little bit more damage. Oh, look at that. Spiky balls, man. I was telling you about them before, wasn't I? Spiky balls, baby. It's the way to go. I just need to make sure that he comes up high enough. Uh, so he actually, you know, gets hurt by them. Uh, yeah, a little bit. You got hurt a little bit by them, just not a lot. Also, we should probably get ourselves just a little bit of health back. Okay, now we're just not really getting too much done, huh? What if we just put a bunch of javelin into the sky? Might that do the job quite nicely? I mean, the damage over time surely is going to be nice, especially when we're hitting multiple segments at the same time. The drain rate of his health is going to be in freaking insane at some point, right? So, I think it might actually be worth doing this, you know? Just put a whole bunch of javelin into him for a minute, and then we'll go back to our regular weapons in just a hot second. Uh, should we see what this thing can do? Ah, oh, there's barely, basically no reach. Okay. Eh. All right, maybe we go back to the boat for a bit. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. So a lot of you guys were going ahead and correctly pointing out, might I say, that the Jester's arrows were actually nerfed a whole bunch in that apparently the damage they do, the piercing damage they do, actually gets less and less and less the more it pierces. So, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I can kind of see why they would do that because, yeah, they kind of were a little bit ridiculous before, weren't they? You could pretty much take down this guy in a matter of milliseconds before. <laughs> Even if it was only the first time you're taking him down, you know? So, yeah, it makes sense that they nerfed it. So, I'm not going to complain about it. It is all totally fine. All uh, right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to the javelin for a bit. We get ourselves a little bit more damage over time going here. And he's going to be a lovely time. Not for the worm, but certainly for me. A little bit more health. Fantastic. Hey, I'll tell you what, my friends. I've got, I got, I got, I got a good feeling about it this time. I've got a good feeling about it this time. Although, maybe I shouldn't, you know, maybe I should actually defeat him first. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Ah! All right. So, uh, maybe we try the staff for a bit? Yeah. Damage like a freaking pro. Beautiful. All right. We're doing pretty well. There's like 300,000 worms around here now, though. Uh, oh, my God. Look at the freaking mini-map, bro. Look at how many dudes there are. <laughs> That's a lot of guys. That is a lot of guys. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of guys. All right. Come on. Come on! You're all gonna die! Come on! Yeah! Yeah, come on! Hey, that's that worm out the game! Alright, you're out the game! You are! Okay, there's like, what, two worms left? And we're just about done? Okay, make that one! Just this little guy! And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen! Ha-ha! Eater of Worlds Relic! There it is! Oh, it's a beautiful sight, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? We haven't even seen what's on the ground just yet. There's probably going to be quite a lot of drops. Uh, it might be an idea for us to... Oh, yeah, look at that. A little bit of money. We might have forgotten about that before. But hey-ho. All right. What have we managed to get? Woo! A lot. Another 79 demonite ore just on the floor there. Woo! Oh, fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Why don't you go ahead and die, sir? I am trying... To see, oh yeah, a little bit more demonite there. See, always worth checking these things out, guys.
Hey, a meteorite has just fallen down. Question is, where? All right, well, we'll have to try and discover that at some point. But for today's episode, we're going up to Shadow Armor. Yeah, very, very good for our defense here, ladies and gentlemen. I am pretty dang happy about that. We've got so much worm food left as well. We could take him down another four times. Holy crappers. All right, let's open up the treasure bag. And there is the beautiful worm scarf. Hey, you get demonite out of the bag as well. Huh, beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We don't even need to make the trousers. And there we have it. 15% increased movement speed, and we now have 45 defense with all of the buffs that we have going on here. The fossil armor has definitely been a very, very good one to have, though. Like, I cannot I cannot stress to you guys enough how good this armor is. I would heavily, heavily advise you guys go ahead and make it absolutely ASAP. All right, we've got ourselves a breaker. And where is... There it is. The War Axe of the Night. And Light Bane, of course, as well, required for the eventual Knight's Edge. And aside from that, that's just about it. All right, not too bad, huh? Not too bad. All right, guys, so the next thing I think we're going to do in today's episode is remove our spawn point, head back here, because as far as I can remember, I am pretty damn sure we've got Grav Potions. Yeah! There we go. Some of you guys know what we're about to do. So, I tell you what, we've got three minutes. Let's just, let's just freaking do it. I mean, it's probably easier if we go ahead and start it from a sprint. So, let's do that. And that means, strictly speaking, we move just a little bit quicker through the sky. And it might just make avoiding the harpies a little bit easier. So, yeah, all right. Way up into the skies here, guys. Oh, snappers. <laughs> All right. We are looking for beautiful sky islands. That is what we're looking for. According to you guys, there is some sort of drop that replaces the lucky horseshoe in 1.4. Hey, 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 hey. Don't think I didn't see you there, sir. Brilliant. What a beautiful sight. All right. So, sky island numero uno. What have we got here? What? Wings? You can get pre-hard mode wings? I mean, obviously, these things, I'm pretty sure in journey mode, they give you these straight away. But you can get them in the normal game as well. Holy hell. Okay, that, that, that's epic. That is actually epic. All right, well, onwards. We need to keep on going. Make the most out of the, uh, out of the freaking gravitation duration we've got going on here. <laughs> oh, whoa, another one. Okay, that's a sky lake, though. I'm pretty sure, technically speaking, these things uh, do not count towards the sky island count. So, yeah, pretty good to see that we've got that right next to a normal sky island, though. That is a hell of a building opportunity, I would say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure we're nearing the far right-hand side of the world. Yep, there we are. All right, well, let's get ourselves back home and let us check out the left-hand side of the sky. Sky Island number three. Okay, what have we got? Another load of fledgling wings. Okay, interesting, I guess. All right, so this is how much we've explored so far, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, we've got a good amount explored already. And basically, we've just got to keep on going. All right, on to our final gravitation potion. Nine minutes worth in total we had there, of course, because we had three. And there's three minutes on each of them. So, yeah, basic maths. <laughs> and there's the left-hand side of the world. Okay. Huh. Where could I be missing Sky Islands? Maybe I was going a little bit too high up. Maybe, just maybe, there's one, like, directly above us. How awesome would that be? Huh? How awesome would that be? It would be pretty cool. Come on, Terraria. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> Wishful thinking, eh, guys? Ah, oh, darn. All right, come on. There's got to be a balloon somewhere. Maybe we go ahead and uh, gravitate a little bit lower to the ground. Maybe we have a little chance of finding another Sky Island that's a little bit lower. I don't know, man. We'll find out. I knew it. Ha! I love being right sometimes. Come on, balloon. Yeah! Absolutely beautiful. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. So what we can now do is... Oh, that's actually pretty close to my tree base. Cool. All right, so we take this bad boy off, and we've got ourselves a warding cloud and a balloon. 
How about that? All right, can I go ahead? Ah, oh. I wish I could like uncombine this because then I would totally put the horseshoe on the balloon. Ah, oh. oh yeah, we've got the wings. We've got the jump. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it, ladies and gents? Ha! <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Wait, the only thing is though, I noticed. Oh, wait. Whoa. I noticed that the Spectre Boots don't seem to do anything. I don't seem to get like a... Uh... Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't appear to be able to use the rocket thing. Huh. Ah, okay. Well, maybe the increased height is sort of built into the wings when you combine them? Question mark? I honestly have no idea. So, I've had a little bit of a change of heart, and this will be the final thing we do in today's episode, but I would really like to actually relocate the jungle pylon to right beside our base here, because, you know, now that we've got ourselves the forest one over there, and we can't have ourselves another forest one, you can't have two of the same sorts of pylons, right? As far as I know, anyway. Uh, yeah, I think maybe putting the jungle one here and then just having a bit of a tunnel go over to the base here. It might not be a bad idea, actually. It means that we can still get between our various areas really, really easily. So we're basically just going to sort of follow down this cave a little bit. All the way to sort of the, the leftmost area. For example, here. And then we're going to make ourselves a bit of a housey housey doodle. Yeah. A nice easy build here, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely nothing to this, really. Uh, I will have a bamboo lamp on the floor, though. I think that seems like a cool idea. There we are. Okay. And then up the top here, we can go ahead and maybe put a table or something or other up here. There we are. You know what? Actually, I don't like the fact that it's rich mahogany. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it well, all right? All the lighting. Yes. Yes, that's what we're doing. Her, her room is missing a wall. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I forgot. I need to... Uh, I need to go ahead and somehow get some regular walls in here. I mean... Yeah, this might be a little bit easier said than done, actually. It's kind of annoying that you still have to do this, even in today's Terraria. You have to sort of lead the break in the background walls if you are wanting to have, like, a proper underground house, right? I mean, unless I'm wrong, in which case, for God's sake, please tell me, because it would make things so much easier if I didn't have to freaking do this. And then obviously eventually I'd have to just go ahead and replace in all of the walls. Otherwise my world will look a little bit crummy, wouldn't it? So yeah, I'd rather not have that be the case. I mean, this is supposed to be my long-term world. So if I'm going to do things, I'm going to do them right. Huh, so that's how you make sun plate blocks. It's a fallen star plus 25 stone. Huh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, nice. Well, if we want to make ourselves some sort of sky build eventually, which sounds like a pretty cool idea just because I don't really do it that often, then yeah, that sounds pretty darn cool if you ask me. All right, well, let's go ahead and get some stuffs in here. We're going to get ourselves some background walls and then this little base is donezo. Oh, yeah. All right, so get the background walls just in there. Okay, fantastic. And then, of course, just do the same up here. All right, so who's over at the jungle base right now? We have ourselves the demolitionist and the painter. So let's go ahead and relocate them both to here. So there you are, and there you are. Okay, so all that's left to do now, ladies and gents, is to go ahead and make sure that the pylons will still work. So, let's go back to regular spawn and let's see what happens. Question, do the fledgling... Oh, they do. Huh. I was wondering if the fledgling wing still negated fall... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, we haven't... Okay, let's take that off. And then let's try it. Does it still negate fall damage? Yes, it does. So what that means is our horseshoe is essentially useless. Uh... God damn it, man. I, I wish I knew about the fledgling wings before, because then I totally wouldn't have combined my horseshoe, right? I would have gone ahead and instead put it on the balloon. Ah, ah well. Lessons are learned, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, here we are. What in the hell is going on here? Why don't you lot, like, go away and stuff? <laughs> All right, we need to get back to our tree base. We need to place down this jungle pylon, and that should be enough to be able to teleport between spawn and our base slash jungle area. Ah, seems like a good idea, doesn't it? All right, let's see if this baby works. All right, uh, we're just going to put it here, because why not? 
Uh, not enough villagers near the current pylon. Ah, oh, right, that's because they just haven't spawned here yet. Right. Well, the fact of the matter is this should now work. So we've got ocean, jungle, forest, desert, and yeah, we still got ourselves a couple more to go. So, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe in the next episode? I don't know. I don't really know. I, I, I really do want to try and make like a proper little shrine base type thing. Or like a dedicated build to each of the different pylons that exist, right? Uh, so yeah, maybe we do that in the next episode. Maybe we wind up doing something else. I've got absolutely... No idea. <laughs> All I know is we're just about out of time for today's episode. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. The painter has died again. Seriously, what is wrong with that guy? Oh, I don't know, man. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future Terraria content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. As always, hints, tips, feedback, suggestions, always welcome in the comments area down below. But have yourselves a great day. My name is B Python. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.